China's strategic focus on coastal defense weapons underscores its commitment to safeguarding its extensive maritime borders and asserting control over key coastal areas and waterways. Given its significant coastline and maritime interests, China prioritizes the development and deployment of advanced anti-ship missiles, coastal defense cruise missiles, and surface-to-air missile systems. These weapons provide China with the capability to deter and counter potential threats from naval forces operating in vicinity. Additionally, China's investments in naval mines, coastal artillery, and integrated defense systems reflect its comprehensive approach to coastal defense aimed at denying access to adversaries and maintaining control over critical maritime territories. Through a combination of indigenous innovation and strategic planning, China continues to strengthen its coastal defense capabilities, enhancing its ability to safeguard its maritime interests and project power in the region. The YJ-62 is a subsonic anti-ship cruise missile developed by China Aerospace Science and Industry Corporation. It is designed to be launched from surface ships and coastal defense batteries to engage surface vessels, including ships and smaller naval targets. The missile is deployed at 52 c destroyers and by coastal defense units using three round transporter radar launchers. The YJ-62 features a turbojet engine and has an operational range of approximately 400 km, about 250 miles, enabling it to strike targets at significant distances from the coastline. This missile is equipped with advanced guidance systems, including initial navigation and active radar homing, allowing it to navigate and strike targets with high accuracy. This provides China with the ability to strike naval targets deep into the maritime domain. The YJ-62 is a subsonic missile which means it travels a space lower than the speed of sound. This limits its ability to engage maneuvering targets effectively and makes it more vulnerable to interception by advanced missile defense systems. The YJ-62 is said to have a warhead weighing 210 kg a speed of Mark 0.6 to Mark 0.8, and a sea skimming terminal attack height of 7 to 10 meters. A 2017 China Maritime Studies Institute report credits the active radar seeker with an acquisition range of 22 nautic miles, equivalent to 41 kilometers. The C602 is the export version of the YJ62 claimed to have a range of 280 km, a 300 kg semi armor piercing warhead, and GPS guidance. The reduced range is in accordance with missile technology control regime restrictions. With a warhead weighing up to 300 kg, a 5,000 ton warship can be seriously damaged or are even sunk with only one effective hit. The CM602G is the land attack version of the C602. It is advertised as having a range of 290 km, a 480 kg squared, and an initial guidance system using GPS data which may be augmented to provide man in the loop control. While the YJ-62 features advanced guidance systems, it may still be susceptible to electronic countermeasures and advanced 
anti-missile defenses employed by potential adversaries, diminishing its effectiveness in contested environments. The YJ-62 anti-ship missile is no longer the only heavy anti-ship missile in China because more advanced and longer-range anti-ship cruise missiles such as the YJ-12 and YJ-18 have also entered service. The YJ-12 is also used by coastal defense forces similar to the YJ-62. In addition, the People's Liberation Army has various long-range land attack cruise missiles at their disposal, both in ground and air-lodged varieties. The missiles play a significant role in China's naval modernization efforts, enhancing its maritime strike capabilities and enabling it to project power in the contested waters of the South China Sea and beyond. Developing and maintaining a sophisticated missile system like the YJ-62 entails significant financial and logistical investments. The cost of production, training, and maintenance of the missile system could pose challenges for China's defense budget over the long term. In conclusion, while the YJ-62 missile provides China with enhanced maritime strike capabilities and a potent deterrent against naval threats, it also presents certain limitations and challenges that need to be addressed to ensure its effectiveness in modern naval warfare scenarios.